Welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson will be on Ruby Gems. Uh, what are Ruby Gems? It's a package utility for Ruby. Think of it as um, as as uh, you have different packages like tar, zip, compressed files will package utility for, for Ruby. That's what the Ruby Gems does. It has the exact same feature for that. Let's go ahead and look at rubygems.org and, and so we can, can see more of uh, what they really are and get a good view of uh, how it's being used. So this is uh, the uh, rubygems.org site. You'll notice that there's actually tons of downloads here, 865 million. There's a lot of different gems. What these do is you can use these gems in your projects. You can put, put them into your project and, and use them for your, for your own code. So you're not reinventing the wheel. You're, you're using this code for, for your, your own benefit, and you can concentrate on the stuff that matters. So uh, there are some links here. There's one that says learn teach you about Ruby Gems by clicking that. Um, there's a share button and you'll notice there's a install Ruby Gems 1824. Um, you can browse the guides, so it's explanations, tutorials, references, and gem specifications. We're going to go over all this stuff. We want to make sure you, you, you get used to these Ruby Gems. It's a very popular thing in Ruby. Um, here's to update your gems, gem update dash dash system. You can build your, your gem using gem spec. And you can push your gem to actually this website. Um, it does require you signing up for an account, but then you can create your own gem and you push it and it'll be out there for everyone to use. You'll notice they also give you a list of uh, what's the most loud downloaded gems today, what was just updated, and uh, some of the, the newer gems out there. Before we go any further, uh, make sure at this top right you do sign up. Um, make sure you sign up for the site. You can uh, then you can kind of keep track of uh, the the gems you download and ones you're pushing, uploading. But let's please notice here. So here's all the learn buttons. Uh, we'll go through them later. But uh, let's go back to our slide now. So uh, Ruby Gems has uh, their own packages for different languages. Um, you'll notice I, I put here uh, Java Jar. Uh, that's that's Java's version of uh, Ruby Gems is is the Jar function. And then uh, Unix and Linux has the Tar utility. So um, these are just a couple of them. You know the the other languages do have their own also. And these are more of the, the common ones I've seen. So what is a gem? Um, like I said, it's a package. I already got over that. And it contains all the necessary files and information to run on the system. Um, you, you'll notice in these gems themselves, they, they'll have a, a version information. I'll also have the, the, the date it was actually created. Um, author is, is quite common. The description of what the gem is. And uh, there, there are more pieces of information to that too. So what, what, what's the use of the, these gems? Um, 